Okay, the topic for today is uh, I'm going to share to you about brief introduction to conventional knife gate waft. So you might you might notice here there's a, about a, con, a word of conventional. Okay, no problem. So uh, as well, you might be noticing in throughout these few weeks since uh, early of July, we have been sharing about a lot of different waft types. Okay, uh, including on the ball waft, butterfly waft, gate waft, glut waft, check waft, and today we go into a knife gate waft. Why are we sharing all these details? Okay, actually, uh, while we are considering on the WAF installation for our application for our industry, okay, we have a plenty of option to choose. For example, the one just now I have mentioned, get group check WAF, ball WAF, butterfly WAF, Nike one, and so on. So, uh, when the choices come, actually, uh, it depends on the typical usage of the applications of the WAF you are going to use. So, uh, some of it you are specifically you are having the function attaching to the uh, WAF type. Okay, so today I'm going to share with you about the knife gate WAF. Let me see. Hi Tolang, hi, hi Shahid, knife gate WAF, yes. Hi Shabao, hi Faris. Okay, you can hear. Thank you, then I'll continue. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what is a knife gate WAF? So knife gate waft is actually a linear motion waft, or we so-called linear waft. They are under the linear category. It's a work by lifting a round or rectangular gate. The gate, if you all can see my yeah, my arrow here. So this is the gate which will be uh, lifting up and down. Uh, it's uh, basically or uh, commonly using as a shut off waft. Uh, it's a shut off or we so-called isolation. It's used to start or stop the flow through a pipeline. So the knife gate waft, the knife, yeah, which is the we so called the gate or the knife, is a uh, actually a machine, uh, machine, or actually fabricated with a sharp edge. So it will actually cut through the uh, solid or sticky materials in of uh, what you call on a medium. So that it will ensure there's a no media or no me material is stuck between the sealing components, which is between the seat material and also on the gate lah, or the knife gate. Okay. So on today, we will actually uh, share about knife gate. Uh, on previous session, we talked about gate waft. I think you have been uh, hearing about, basically, we only share about which gate waft. So in gate waft category, we have quite a lot. For example, uh, which gate waft. And when the uh, gate waft is larger, uh, we will have to supply with a flexible which gate. Then we also have the uh, knife gate waft, which we are going to share on today. Then we also have a parallel slide gate waft. Parallel slide gate waft is actually uh, more commonly using in the high pressure steam application. So uh, basically, it's a parallel slide gate waft is actually a construction with two gate. So there's a spring. So it's actually uh, designed to super, suitable to be used on the thermal transient or we so called the steam application. And also, there's another type of gate waft which is a true conduit slab gate waft. So uh, for this design, actually, the uh, seats are designed with the spring loaded. So it's uh, using for the dirty application as well, the server dirty, dirty application. Okay, so for knife gate waft, uh, if you notice at the very earlier, I have mentioned about conventional. Okay, so on conventional, for knife gate waft itself, there are different type of design throughout the, uh, the revolution. So for example, uh, this is a conventional type of knife, uh, knife gate waft. We also have the uh, true gate waft, a line, line gate waft, push through gate waft. And also the uh, guided shear gate waft. Okay. So today we only cover on the uh, basically I will just cover on the primary lah, on the uh, basic fundamental of the knife gate waft. So uh, let me share with you about the component of a knife gate waft. So from the top you can see this is a hand wheel, and. Uh, Connecting to it, we are using a stem nut to secure the in between the hand wheel and also on the stem. Then uh, item number six, component number six is a stem or we so call a splinter. Uh, number five is actually the yoke, and number nine, yeah, is actually a connector or we so call the uh, stem to gate connector or the uh, clevis line. Number four is a packing gland. So previously, if you notice about the gate valve, there is also a packing gland. And number three, this is a packing. Yeah, in this design, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a circle, okay, circle that is a packing area. So we, packing usually you cannot see from the external, yeah, but it's just from the exploded view. Number two is the waft body. Number one is a gate, or we so-called the knife gate. 
And uh, okay, the, the last one is actually uh, for this uh, race phase. So there's a serrated uh, gasket phase uh, for the end connection. Let me just make sure. Uh, if you have any question, you all feel free to leave it in the comment section. Then I'll come back to you all. Is there a knife inside the wall from Wai Chong? Hi. Yeah, so the gate is actually, uh, the knife gate or the gate is actually polished or machined as, as sharp as a knife. Hi, Bunke. Hi, Reza. Hi. Hi, Jaslyn. Ya, hari ini lambat kena potong makar. Okay. Hi, Ruzaini. Hi, Shazwan. Okay, let me continue to carry this out. Okay, so uh, let's talk about some of the design specification. So for knife gate wall, basically is uh, not commonly being used in the uh, oil and gas or we so-called the refinery sector. So uh, I don't find any API standard or API design standard for the knife gate wall. So over here, we have the design standard of uh, MSS SP81. So MSS is the uh, Manufacturer Standardization Society, okay? So this is the SP81 and also uh, MSS SP148. The pressure testing standard as well, so we have to follow on MSS SP151. Okay, one drawback for the design of a knife gate wall is is uh, commonly available in a low pressure setting or low pressure construction only. So for example, on the uh, PN6, PN10, which is a 6 bar or 10 bar application or plus 150. 150 can up to a 19.2 or some people saying 19.6 bar okay for the application the uh, what do you call the design pressure okay uh, for the seed material there's available in the option of a metallic and also on the resilient seated which is a soft seed so uh, for the knife gate just now Wai Chong asked about is there a gate or is there a knife okay so the knife is actually uh, available in various type of coatings as well uh, based on the demand or based on the application for example on the Hard facing, a treading, and also chrome plating or chrome cut type plating. On the body material, what we commonly see, uh, this is a very cost effective one. Uh, most commonly, they are available in ductile iron and cast iron. Of course, they are also available in uh, carbon steel and stainless steel as well. What about the seat of knife kit wall? Will the sharp edge cut or damage the seat? <laughs> okay, so from uh, Wai Chong. Okay, so it will not damage damage the seat is because, uh, for example, metal to metal, especially most commonly they are using in a metal seater lah, for this uh, knife kit wall. So uh, no, you will not damage it. Instead, they will actually uh, the profile is actually already polished and matching together. So in order to achieve on the seat leakage. Yeah, from Sunayap for pulp and paper, you are correct. Yes, I'm going to share about the application later. Okay, because I'm seeing here my connection is like uh, there's some disturbance. No worry, then I uh, continue. Okay, so these are the common end connection. So on the left most, this is a wafer type. On the middle, this is a lug type. And on the right most, this is the flange type. Okay. So previously, I think uh, when I share about the butterfly walk, there are some questions as well. So when do we new, when do we use a wafer type? When do we use a lock type? Or when do we use a double flange type? Uh, basically, wafer type uh, from the construction itself, you can notice this is uh, actually a, a simpler design or compact design. So the weight, uh, the weight is also uh, lighter. So the overall cost, the material cost also is cheaper. So it's very cost effective. So uh, for the wafer type, mostly they are using for water services and uh, this is totally not acceptable to be used on hydrocarbon and as well on fire water. So just now when I mentioned it's uh, suitable to be used for water service, but why we can't use on fire water is because the boats are actually uh, exposed. In case of fire incident, the boat, the boat things actually are exposed to the, uh, to the fire. So you're actually uh, causing on the uh, direct impact on the boating tightness. I mean on the strength so this is not suitable to be used on the fire water okay so on the middle one which is on the lock type so lock type uh when just now we mentioned wafer is not suitable to be used on the fire water then we can use lock type because lock type in the construction wise you can notice also is a uh, much more economical comparing to the flange type and if you're using for hydrocarbon definitely you have to go with hydro uh Double flange option. Okay, so these are the end con. These are the uh, sample of the end connection.
Okay, no more question coming in, then we continue. Okay, so about the actuations or the operator, it's a very similar to the other WAF type. So we can use it in a hand view, uh, knife gate WAF, gate WAF, or uh, glove WAF. So this is a common one. We have the uh, hand view with a rising stem. Or we can also have a, this is we so called a manual, lah, okay? So this is as well with a manual, uh, with a gearbox. So could be have, uh, having a higher trust value. For example, if the WAF size is larger or there's a very high friction in between the knife gate and also the seat. So when there's a higher trust required, so we can use a gearbox lah, in order to lighten up the, uh, the force from the operator. For the knife gate valve, you can also install with a pneumatic actuator. So this is a, a pneumatic linear cylinder actuator. And uh, in the middle, we can install it with an electric motor as well. So uh, same thing, a gate valve, a glove valve, we can use it with an electric motor. And on the right most, yeah, we can install it with a hydraulic actuator as well. So these are the common options available. Okay. So why why we want to use or why do we select a knife gate valve? Like I mentioned just now, because on the very compact construction, very short face to face, very uh, minimal material being used, and the knife gate for the for the trim. The knife gate uh, is very simple. It's a thin knife. I mean, it's a knife. So a thin knife construction. So even if you're doing on the uh, hardening or the uh, coating on top of it, so the cost will be quite effective. Uh, secondly, it's a very light, so it will not cause an uh, impact on the weight to the whole pipeline. It's a very easy to actuate. So from the manual, like just now I mentioned, we can uh, couple it together with the hand wheel, with the gearbox, uh, with a pneumatic actuator, hydraulic actuator, or you can use it with a motorized actuator as well. Okay. Yeah, so on a very short face-to-face, -face, it's a very much similar to butterfly wah with a short face-to-face -face comparing if you're using a witch gate wah, so it's much more larger, or glove wah, butterfly wah, and so on. Okay, so for the knife gate wah, it's a very specially designed with the ability to handle slurry, viscose, viscose fluid, high viscosity, and also a corrosive or solid surface. Uh, it actually can reduce the maintenance cost and eliminate the uh, sludge or blockage issue especially when the knife is actually uh, with a very sharp edge which is to cut through if there's any uh, stuck or any sludge uh, actually blocking the sealing area so the knife gate will actually cut through it so to in order to achieve on the start stop or on off application so when it's fully open or fully fully closed so you actually uh, achieve on the tightness Hi, yeah. Okay, uh, I don't see any new comment coming in, or maybe there are some delays, so I will continue. Yeah, okay, so uh, like just now, actually, from Sunayap TV, so he mentioned in pulp and paper. Yes, so uh, where these valves are commonly being used. Okay, so these valves, when we are considering to apply on a knife gate valve, usually we are actually. Uh, Consider the application which you have to deal with the hard to clean material, for example, oil, grease, yeah, and as well, uh, in for example, in locally, in for us, in power plant, especially on the core and ash handling, so they use a lot of the knife gate wire, knife gate wire as well. Uh, so when is it been used? So used for the shut off pressure, uh, shut off in process plant, also material material transfer system. Like just now I mentioned, and the ash and core in power plant sector. Or they can also as well in the uh, pulp and paper. So the pulp stock, yeah, pulp stock is a very high risk cost, and also uh, also is a very, I would say it's hard to clean. Okay, same thing on hard to clean material. So to be used on the wastewater. So in wastewater sometimes there are some uh, I don't know debris or some dirt. So to be used in the uh, mining or mineral, as well uh, power generation, which I mentioned just now, in the food industry to be used with the oil, and some with the with the with the grease. For the knife gate valve, a uh, question from Wai Chong. For the knife gate valve, will it be difficult to do maintenance? Okay. Uh, basically, for a knife gate valve, especially on the metal to metal seated, the uh, seat tightness class is not really the uh, primary concern. So there's an allowable leakage, except there's some uh, really uh, a solid or hard particle stuck in between, which is causing an operational issue or the operability. So uh, on the maintenance wise, no, it's actually uh, quite similar, especially this valve. 
it's been considered is because it's a very low maintenance but I would say. Okay. Any more questions? Yes, today's session for the knife cake off is quite simple and straightforward. Yeah, because uh on the application wise it's not really like complicated, for example, suitable to be used in what type of refinery or hydrocarbon or crude oil application. Yeah, so let me make a summary about the pros and cons. So in the uh, summary, so this uh, you can see on the right hand side, the knife gate valve design is very compact, it's very lightweight. So it's relatively cheap because on the material, uh, you can see overall when the weight is cheaper, so the metal to be used is also cheaper. So or lesser, like I would say lesser than indirectly costing it on the overall cost is cheaper. So it's uh, easy to actuate. Yeah, so by using a hand wheel again, by using a hand wheel, by using a gearbox, by using a pneumatic actuator, hydraulic actuator, or motorized actuator. Uh, okay, so it's a suitable, uh, suitable to be used or because it's having a very low pressure drop when it's in a fully open position. So it's uh, almost like a ball up, or, or sorry, a full ball ball up, which is uh, causing a very low pressure drop. But it's not exactly like a ball up, like a, a full ball ball up. But it's still a very very low pressure drop comparing to butterfly valve, comparing to the uh, wish gate valve type or the uh, manual uh, or the gate valve uh, glove valve. Okay, so it's been designed to work in a harsh environment with slurry media. So just now like I mentioned, uh, the pulp stock in pulp and paper, the uh, coal and ash in the power generation, the oil, the grease in uh, in the industrial or in the uh, food industry. So just now I just mentioned, is it very difficult to do maintenance? Basically, this valve is designed with a very low maintenance feature. Yeah, but the uh, drawback is actually knife gate valve is very poor in re regulating flow. Yeah, so like just now I mentioned, it's basically uh, to be used in a start stop or so-called on-off or isolation application. So it's not suitable to be used on a regulating flow. For example, you want to regulate on the flow rate, regulate on the temperature, regulate on the uh, pressure, regulate on the level. So no, it's uh, basically used for on-off application. And this one, the design is only available in low pressure applications. For example, if you want to use for 900 pound pressure rating, no, it's not available. So commonly been used in the very low pressure application. Okay, a question from Iwan Chia, any rotary motion for knife gate? No, knife gate is a linear motion. Uh, it's a rotary motion. If like a like a disc, then it's a butterfly, lah. Okay, so uh, it's a different different specification, different feature, and a different attribute from the design type. Okay, so knife gate and butterfly. Yeah, butterfly we have shared earlier. So in the upcoming session, after we go through the uh, all the wolf types, we'll go more into applications. Then we will actually share more about like just now, uh, like previously, uh, I think I shared in uh, three weeks or four weeks ago about the uh, concentric butterfly valve, double offset butterfly valve, triple offset butterfly valve. We will go into detail about the uh, why do we consider or why do we use a uh, butterfly valve. Uh, we will dive into it. And the knife gate valve have the rubber type lining on the internal part like EPDM from Wai Chong. Yes, you are correct. So there's a one type of so called line gate valve to be used where, with a very corrosive water application or water services. Yes, so they can use with the uh, soft material, like for example, like the EPDM, uh, as well, for example, like uh, nitrile rubber lah, and MBR, uh, Buna N. So, as well on the whiten, silicon, yeah, so those are available for the soft seed selection. Okay, but the but why jump for the knife gate? For the knife gate is still in the in a, in a metal lah, and if required then they will do the coating. Okay, so basically that's all uh, I've prepared for today. If you have any questions, then we still have uh, several minutes to go into it. Yeah, otherwise for the uh, slide, yeah, that is all. Thank you. Hi Wai Chang, welcome. Yeah, okay. If otherwise then that is that's all for my sharing on today.